Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Never mind the, the, the noises, the fans, and I gotta keep it on, guys. And I think that's saving the, the inverter. Let me give you an overview of what I have here. I'm still using Mix Sky Blue. We still have an issue. I have an issue with the voltage. And it's not reading it accurate. It used to, though. For some reason, it stopped reading it. I don't know why. Okay? I believe this is. I don't think this is made for. I don't think this is made for for lithium. I think I read this, some of the stuff in the literature. I think it's made for batteries, uh, gel, some of the type of batteries, but not for lithium phosphate or lithium iron. Okay, I sent an email to the manufacturer in Japan. They were they're not responding. So usually that's what they do. They do. I sent them the video. One of my videos. See if they can help me with it. We configure the the thing. But I was able to manipulate it from here, guys. That's what I did. I manipulated it from here on the power meter. And changed this thing to 61. It works. It did work, so. I don't know what this thing is doing now, so. It did work. So it let me charge the battery all the way to 57. Okay? I'll get back to that at that 57 thing, guys. So. This is, um. Yeah, uh, the boss bar I did, I made a video on that, guys. Pretty nice, I did a nice work on that. Pretty nice boss bar, I did it myself. So, I double each of them, so in each cell. So, it gave me about 100 and something amp hour. Okay. Um, when I did the test, you see the numbers is there? I have 105 amp hour, and it take about 15 hours to, to drop it. And I had about uh, 5.48 kilowatt. It was less than what I expected, I believe, because the battery was low. It was not fully charged, it was not at 57. I think that's probably what caused that. Okay? And what I did there, and I have a video on that, guys. I, re I, re I tried to charge it all the way to 56. And I did charge it to 56. Now this is the number that I had, okay? And I got 14.27 kilowatt. So I had it at 56 to 42. It gave me 272, 277 amp hour. It, it destroyed the battery for, for two days and, and one hour. So with this pack of battery, that pack of battery, I had to do a general one because I couldn't get the battery to be at 57, uh, 57 due to the fact that guys i'm using uh, i'm off grid so so whatever i charge i use it whatever i charge i use it guys this is my inverter i had to replace the fan it's doing a pretty good job guys i think i think i need another fan because that's uh, i have a backup inverter though when you go off grid you have to have a backup inverter this one is making a lot of noise but I think that Finn is doing such a great job. It helped the inverter. Okay. So the inverter is running okay. I haven't tested to the limit. I have to have another one because I'm off grid right now. So I can't test this inverter. It's a power jack inverter. I had it for a while. So and this year, last year I started using it. And it's still running. It's still giving me no headache. It, it, it draw a lot of current. But I changed the fan because it was broken. I fixed the fan okay so i have this switch i have another one to put on the bottom you see where we are on the bottom guys i have new battery coming i have a new set of battery it's gonna be just like that guys but in blue color it's gonna come down here okay this cost it's about twice the size of those hopefully i have this type of uh, 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 i think i have the bms already in here I'm gonna, I'm gonna need more BMS. I have a, I have another switch coming down here, guys. So this battery is almost done. So I have a couple bodies inside the house. I'm gonna bring it outside back there. I should be done, everything should be done today. But I'm waiting for the BMS to arrive. Without the BMS, I can't put, put, put I can't put it into play. Okay. So now during the daytime, guys, uh, whatever I produce. I use 
because we are on um, we are off grid okay right now I'm producing 5 amp I'm producing 5 amp guys and I'm using the whole 5 amp okay let's see what's going on the other one because I, I do my normal stuff in the house let's check this battery guys let's check this battery okay you see but it's well balanced I don't know <laughs> It's well balanced guys, very well balanced. I'm not using anything on this battery. I'm not using anything on this battery. Maybe I'm not producing, I'm not, I'm using whatever is, whatever I'm producing. That's why my battery is always at 51 every night. I'm always at 51 guys, because I have such a, such a big battery, big battery bank, it takes a lot to charge. It takes a lot to charge. I'm producing 20, for uh, 20, 30, 20 to 25, 28 maximum amp. That's make a difference because I need to double the amperage that I'm producing. This is not enough. Okay. I use this to do tests for the capacity. This is working pretty good now. It works pretty good. So it does the job for me. This breaker I need to be changed. I'm going to get rid of that. I got another breaker. I, I may have to put another set of battery up here, guys. Another set of battery up here. Only just like that one there. I have new battery coming up. You got to stay tuned. You know, subscribe. Help my channel out. I got new battery. I got a new set coming up. Hopefully, let me show you the battery, the, the setup outside. You see, guys, I'm very, it's very shady right now. I think it's about 5 o'clock. I'm not sure exactly what time. I'll check the time. So, all those panels are not producing anything right now. Okay, just two in parallel, those two in parallel, they're not producing anything. Those two, on, I mean, those two are in series. Never mind, guys, those two are in series. They are in series, they merge together in parallel. And because it's shady, it's not producing anything right now. Those two, same thing. All those six panels are not producing anything right now. Okay, maybe one or two amps. Now, those guys. That's the one producing produce the power. Because the sun is on my... Right now, you see what I'm looking at? The, uh, on my right. The sun is on my right. Let me show you the sun. See where the sun is, guys? So I need more panels. So in the afternoon, I can... I can get a lot of, a lot of shade, a lot of stuff. I can't move the stuff back and forth. But I'm going to have a set of panels on this corner there. Okay? So... I'm all there already, so I'm waiting until it comes, so... And I need a new a new regulator guys. So basically these are the two producing 5M. Okay guys, you see the time 520. Around that time I really can't don't produce that much. I don't produce that much amperage at that time guys. Let me see what's on the other battery. I'm taking what's on the other battery. Just have a battery. We're gonna get this one. Grab this one. Let's see what we got, guys. Come on. Okay. All right, guys. Not bad. Until I mean, that cell number seven, it's always been like that because it was very high, more than everybody else. You know, so I don't play with this software because this much this. Yeah, this thing is not moving properly, so I don't mess with it. I don't want to mess it up, guys. So, yeah, the fan is very loud. There's nothing you can do about that. Need to get rid of that inverter for the time being, but I gotta use it. That's all I got here. So far, so good, guys. I have to reprogram this thing here. Okay, I have to reprogram that to make it balance. Okay. Yeah, I'm taking some of the juice out of it. I think my next video, my next upload, guys, is gonna be new, this battery gonna be operational, and I think the new battery gonna come. I don't know which one is going to come first. You know, every 20 days, 30 days, I give you an update. So, 
I have the new set of battery I need to test, so I'm gonna have a test on that and see what the capacity on them is. What I was saying to you guys, I bought this thing about $1,200, those set of batteries for $1,200. This set of batteries, see, I can't tell the capacity. I found a way to do a capacity on both of them, okay? Because I can't charge the battery to the maximum. I, I don't have no, not enough panel solar, solar panel. I don't have enough panels to produce that kind of current, that, that kind of uh, amperage. So this thing can be charged to the maximum. You know, so it has to be at, at least seven days sun non-stop. Like yesterday, there was no sun yesterday. Okay, I have to have seven days non-stop, so every day I got a little bird. Okay, this has to be 52, but it's not. But I'm using this thing in the house, so whatever I use, I burn it. So uh, to, tomorrow morning, I'll, this thing gonna be around 50, this thing gonna be around 49, two amps a night. Yes, yeah, about 49, and that's what it's gonna be. It wasn't sunny earlier. So it does a difference, man. Until guys, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't do so, check, check out the next update, guys.